Hello everyone and welcome to my 1111 gateway portal video. I hope you're doing great. So you may ask yourself, what exactly is the 1111 other than November the 11th? Um, this is a magical gateway because the planets are always aligning in such a way to bring um, a new beginning and prosperity into your life. So at this particular gateway, we have the sun in Scorpio, and we also have an alignment with the sun and Taurus energies. So I feel like we have a lot of wealth and abundance. Jupiter is direct in Aquarius. There is a lot of really good energy here coming in that you could probably feel in your physical senses. So what you would be feeling as a sensation would be from your the top of your head, the crown chakra, down through your spine, possibly down through your arms, and then back up again, sort of like being washed or cleansed of um, some kind of energy, um, like a spiritual cleansing. And what it is, is this is an ascension. So you are going through a spiritual ascension. Now, depending on yourself, you could already be going through it. Um, and it may last for a day or two after the 1111. Um, there are codes, uh, psychic ability, spirituality, and enlightenment being brought forth and shining upon you during this time. You could also feel liberated because Uranus is squared off to Saturn in Aquarius. People want to be free. They want to be living in um, the age of Aquarius. They don't want to be restricted and they don't want to be um, made to conform to some kind of expectation or um, having to conform to society to be a certain way. So there's shedding of old habits, clearing negativity, um, stepping into 5D, sort of taking a step back from 3D and all the problems that we're seeing in the world. Now, this is an awakening. It is letting go of the old and infusing your life with the new spiritual energy of this beginning. Um, now, you can be basically focusing on the higher realms, spiritual realms, the highest energy of light that you can possibly connect in with through meditation or prayer or just taking a few minutes by yourself to close your eyes and relax and sort of focus your energy upward to the heavens. So what you're doing is you're realigning your soul with your personal truth. Um, and you want to open your heart chakra to love, but you really just want to align your personal soul to your truth. We will um, be having Mars aligning with Venus in a sextile. So I feel like that flow will be working very well for people. It could actually bring it into reality for you through fame and fortune. You could actually have some very good luck on your side um, because you will be more aligned with who you truly are. So you will be feeling vibrant. Um, you'll be feeling more connected to your own personal truth which is your state of consciousness and your divine well-being um, that this particular alignment and energy can bring forward for you. So it's an activation. It's an activation of your spirit and your soul. It is not from the tangible reality in front of you. It is not a 3D ascension this is something that has to do with stepping back from the regular world and connecting in with the things that you can't see uh, the heavens and the spirit realm so you'll be tapping into a more powerful energy that as you're being guided during this particular time so your soul needs to step away from stress and anger and hostility and anything that is going to be bringing you down. The energies of the planets during this time are aligned in such a way to make everyone realign. Um, and it's through the highest of the divine light. 
light codes, um, crystalline grid energy coming through, through your soul, which can then manifest in your light body or just in your, your own physical sense as well. You may not be hungry as well. I've been noticed I don't feel hungry, but very thirsty. Like very, you want to be drinking a lot of water and sort of going through a cleanse of your physical self as your spirit sort of moves forward into a new level of light. So you want to be stepping away from anything that really is upsetting, very negative, because you're actually just aligning with basically God or the spirit realm, heaven or angels. So this is your time to focus on your personal spiritual ascension. Um, there are apparently diamond light codes coming through the sun. So if you can step out into the sun, you can, um, feel this energy. And basically what you're doing is a soul recalibration to the higher realms, to the 5D. Um, I even had some phrases going through my mind like, how are you going to get to 5D or stay in 5D if you're watching all these horror stories on TV all the time from things going on? You won't. You, it, it drags your soul down. It makes your soul feel heavy. So relax and enjoy this time um, and be open to um, anything that you could be feeling that's positive that would be bringing you out of this heavy energy and filling you with light and um, good luck and good fortune that can manifest in the material world as well. So the material realm would be going through a shift coming from the sun in Scorpio aligning with Apogee in Taurus, which is an asteroid. So there's an 18 degree alignment going on right now. So it's a perfect conjunction with Scorpio, which is your soul and a rebirth. Um, it is the Phoenix rising from the ashes. And then this energy is aligning with the second house of money, finance, physical beauty, Empress energy. So it's a, it's a Phoenix rising from the ashes energy. And um, we also have Mercury and Scorpio aligning with Chiron and Aries, needing to speak your truth as well, or identify with what your soul is, what is true for you, for your soul, and how do you need to heal yourself, your identity, your person? How do you need to heal? So nine degrees of Chiron aligned with Mercury, eight degrees of Scorpio. So there is a T-square going on. It's a, it's a resistance. So there's a resistance to conformity or control on a large group. So this is, like I said, a recalibration of your soul. It has to do with your personal truth and realigning with your personal truth. 12 degrees here of the moon in Aquarius, which is your emotions are connected to more than just yourself. It has to do with everyone, but at the same time, it's aligned here with 12 degrees of Uranus and Taurus. You need to be true to yourself, be an innovator, and don't be afraid to be different. Uranus rules over Aquarius, and it's in the second house of money and finance. So don't be afraid to be different. With Jupiter direct in Aquarius, this could benefit you in a great way. Um, financially, more friendships, Jupiter's expansion, expansion of your network. Then we have Venus moving into Capricorn at five degrees. Five degrees is more so it's aligned with Aquarian energy of Saturn, which is the apex point of this T-square, which is the resistance. So Saturn is the planet of order, um, the structure and the order. Um, some people say it's like the military or a military general it's like someone who wants order now in Aquarius Saturn does rule over Aquarius because we have to have an orderly society in some way but at the same time if there's too much Saturn it becomes restraining and restrictive 
on personal freedom. So what's going on here is a realignment of the soul, of your personal soul with your soul's purpose. Um, like I just said, Mercury in Scorpio is about thinking about the soul, um, maybe communicating with people about your past or whatever has wounded you, which is Chiron, um, and then pushing past that. So I'm going to look here at the T-square. So if you can see the T-square, there's two red lines and a blue line. It's a triangle. And at the very top of the T-square is Saturn, direct in Aquarius. So there's two 90 degree angles between Mercury, I believe, uh, Mer Mars, Mercury, Saturn, Uranus. So Saturn wants order, discipline on large groups of people. There's a resistance to that because Mercury and Scorpio want you to be true to yourself. Uranus and Taurus wants you to break the mold and be an innovator. And then Uranus squared to Saturn says, forget you, I'm going to do things my way. Uranus rules over Aquarius, but Uranus is the rebel planet. If, you did, if everybody was a robot and looked the same, then that would not be exciting. But Uranus is, you know, sort of like the rebellious person that does things their own way and doesn't conform. However, at the same time, Aquarian energy is like a social butterfly. So we have an opposition between Uranus and Taurus. Uranus is not exalted in Taurus. It's at a detriment because... Taurus is restrictive and controlling and wants order, wants stability. And Uranus wants to be free like a butterfly. So it's an opposition here to Mercury and Scorpio, needing to speak your truth and needing to follow what your soul truly wants for yourself. Mars here is sextile to Venus, which is very good, um, very passionate very creative, connecting here with Venus and Capricorn, fame, fortune, and earning the fruits of your labor. However, Venus is also squared at a 90 degree angle straight to Chiron and Aries, meeting the wounded healer. So it could be that you have to push yourself outside your comfort zone and get over any kind of self-esteem issues. So Chiron can be the wounded identity and you need to put yourself out there because Mars energy rules over Aries. And so you need to put yourself out there. Be disciplined and focused. That's what um, Saturn is here. It's very disciplined. However, and there is a certain amount of discipline with Chiron and Aries here. You are disciplined. But to a certain extent here, um, you are very disciplined. But it's there's a, there's a tension between being true to yourself and reaping the fruits of your labor. So there could be some kind of um, confidence issue that people could be working on right now, which could be really good. Neptune is hanging out here in Pisces, at home in Pisces, creating an illusion, a fantasy, something that is not real. And it can also make you want to escape or run away. Um, it's two water signs connected, Neptune connected to the sun and Scorpio. This is a desire to stay in bed and hide or go somewhere and escape. The worst would be to be drinking alcohol or doing drugs to escape your own feelings. Now, because Pisces and Scorpio, it's all about the feelings. And if you don't want to feel your feelings, people usually do something to avoid how they're, all, they're feeling. But... This is a good time to connect with other people, with the moon in Aquarius. It would do people very well to share their experiences and also to use that in such a way where you can all, when, where everyone can benefit from this energy, which is Jupiter direct. Jupiter is the biggest planet, so Jupiter pulls a lot of energy. And there is a lot of good things. There are a lot of good things right now that can be happening for people. If you can see eye to eye, um, if you can somehow form a bond. So 
this is the 1111 gateway. A T square um, conformity is at the apex point. Conformity with society rules and discipline. And there's a resistance to that. But it's not rebellion. It's just it's um, an uncomfortable feeling. It's resistance. Um, it can be as simple as saying, no, I don't want to do that or something like that. So it's just a resistance. It's not a rebellion. It's just a, a pushback. And this doesn't have anything to do with anything going on in politics necessarily, because this could be personal. Um, this could be something for you personally. Um, but you're going to just, it's going to be whatever you think it is. Um, if you think it's society or your government or whatever, then that's what it's going to be for you. But this 1111 gateway is very um, intense energy. You will feel the connection to 5D, which is um, tingling. And then we can't forget about here, we always have the galactic center, Sagittarius A star in Sagittarius aligned with Sedna in Taurus. Um, Sedna is an asteroid in Taurus that it's in retrograde and it has to do with when you're given so much that you don't appreciate it. So there's something here about re realigning with yourself to appreciate what you have. Um, that's coming from the spiritual realm here of the galactic center. So Mars connecting to Venus is very passionate you know it's at a harmonious sextile so there's a good energy between Mars and Venus this is you know if you do something that comes from your creative soul you could actually do very well financially you could reap fame and fortune from this okay so I am going to do some general tarot cards for you all and um, have a little a little being right here that sort of needs to move but I might be able to just do it around around this animal <laughs> okay all right so let's go here angels and spirit guides what are the messages for the 1111 gateway and what do we all need to see thank you so very much for this gateway energy we're all Really looking forward to Jupiter. Oh my goodness, look. Ten of Pentacles. I'll take Ten of Pentacles. Money, wealth, and abundance. Financial security. Long ties. Deep ties to people. We have a king of the air in the crossing. Air sign energy. Professional communicator. Somebody speaking their truth. Gemini, Libra, Aquarian energy, and we have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. We have the High Priestess. Being quiet, listening to your intuition. You may know a secret that you are keeping. Okay. Recent past, Six of Air. You may have decided to avoid someone who was causing you stress or conflict or just bringing stress into your life. Now we have a Four of Wands, the stable, happy home, maybe having some time off, enjoying um, time with another person. High Priestess is Divine Feminine. Very spiritual. So what are we getting here for the future energy for all zodiacs? For the, what do we have here? Six of Cups, Friendship. Maybe nostalgia could be a person returning to your life, someone you knew in the past. It's the energy of innocent friendship. Okay, your energy is two of wands. You're very inspired. There could be something you're wanting to do, travel, move, relocate. You're very inspired though, and you're taking action on this inspiration. The stars around you, fresh starts, new beginnings, hope, healing. 
around in the environment there is the star and the star is a spiritual cleanse spiritual renewal you're hoping for eight of wands you're wanting something to pick up or to propel forward to move forward fast could be business could be communication wow these two cards just flipped out together the fool and the ace of pentacles you're being offered a new beginning or some kind of new path and there's the opportunity for something very successful coming in so let's see what's on the bottom the knight of swords there's something here about urgency okay so Ari not aries this is all signs so we have here urgency messages coming in fast Ooh, seven of swords somebody may have excuse me just okay oh oh no <laughs> that's not gonna work oh my gosh Okay, so somebody is rushing in with an urgent message. Could be somebody accusing someone. Seven of Swords. Somebody was hiding something. And then we have a Nine of Wands. Somebody is on the defense. Seven of Wands. Very defensive. Hermit energy. Okay. So we have someone here urgently rushing in with this message. You are thinking about, now the challenge to your life here is that there could be somebody who has some harsh words, some personality where it's kind of cold. Um, the outcome is you're, you're being given something, a gift from the universe. Universe is gifting you with freedom and an opportunity. The environment is ready for this change. The star. The star is hope and healing, fresh starts and new beginnings. So what is the six of cups? Ooh, justice. Okay, hermit energy again. So somebody shedding some light on the situation. We did have this hermit back here. Hermit. King of Wands, Virgo. Somebody's shedding light on a situation. Okay, so what are we getting here for the High Priestess underlying? Nine of Coin, Independent. Okay, let's see. What is this Nine of Coin about? Page of water. You're getting good news, happy news. Pisces energy is here. There's water sign energy here. Uh, somebody sweet and kind. What is the two of wands about? Two of swords. You have a decision that you have to make. You could be in denial or refusing to see that there's been something going on, like a change. Eight of cups. You're not interested in a situation here because you want, you're unsatisfied. Oh, wow. Ten of Cups is here. Somehow happiness and fulfillment is coming in. What is the fool? Something thrilling, exciting. Ace of Coin, something real. What is the Four of Wands? The Ace of Water. A new potential for love, peace, or happiness. Okay, so what is this thrilling new passion? Queen of Pentacles. Earth sign energy. What is the Ace of Coin? Something that you have an intuition about. You have an intuition. You haven't been 
facing it. I feel like you just haven't faced it. It's nothing bad. Okay. What is the justice and the hermit and the ten of cups about? What is the justice about? There's an ace of coin. There's a new beginning. A new potential for something that's real. What is this ace of coin with the high priestess? Ooh. There's a secret, possibly, and a rebirth, a renewal, a judgment, a day of reckoning, a judgment day, um, a blessing. So what is ace of cups? Why are we getting ace of cups in the four of wands? Look at this. Four of wands. The stable, happy home. Stability coming into your life. Peace and happiness and stability. New beginnings. Legal matters going in your favor. You could be able to walk away from something here that was possibly stressful for you. Maybe it was a legal matter. What is the Eight of Cups? Six of Cups. Something to do with a friend. What is the Ten of Cups? Okay, it's a long-term emotional investment. There's two people here, um, air sign energy, earth sign energy. Okay, what is the Ten of Cups? What is the Ten of Cups? Emperor. Be a father or father figure. It could be um, somebody taking back control over their life. So the fool was the outcome. You have a new beginning. Some burdens are lifted off your shoulders. Ten of pentacles just flipped. Money, wealth, abundance, stability. Following your intuition, there is something that is turning in your favor. Wow. The emperor and the empress. Power couple. And the chariot, fast forward movement, determination. Bottom of the deck is the star. Something in your environment is about hope for the future, healing, fresh starts, new beginnings, and spiritual renewal. Okay. Very good. So stay aligned. High Priestess is underlying. Stay aligned with your spiritual side. The cocoon of white light. Rest in perfect love. Understand oneness. Okay. So you want to connect to 5D. The spirit realm, heaven, your angels, your guides, galactic energies. You don't want to focus on what's going on in the news right now. This is your time to heal the soul. This is your rebirth. Or it's your time to be the phoenix rising from the ashes. It's your time. I have here a caring community. Participate and belong. Enrich your life. Okay. Enter the magic. Live in the now and seize the moment. Okay. Okay. So something is working out very well for everyone that's going to watch this reading. Bottom of the deck is open to abundance. Accept plenty and prosperity. So Jupiter direct in Aquarius. There's a lot of good luck and good fortune for a lot of people right now. You just have to step back and away from the distractions that are negative. And there's a lot of them. And it will drag your soul down. So you don't want that right now. So this is the reading and the astrology and spirituality for the 1111 gateway happening tomorrow. And I feel like the, the gateway is already opened um, because the alignments are already there. I'm going to go back to the ephemeris real quick. 18 degrees of the sun in Scorpio with 18 degrees of apogee in Taurus. And then we also have Sedna and the Galactic Center pretty much aligned. So being expressing gratitude for what you have. Sedna is 
the energy of being given everything and then still not feeling happy. So you have to find your true soul purpose. If material things aren't making you happy, you have to find your soul purpose, which should be easy. I mean, this should be totally fine. It's just all about being true to yourself. Scorpio energy, looking within your soul. Okay, guys, thank you so much for tuning in and take care.